know, the chapter 55 in the third testament of the Bible gives it gives everything. Right? Right now we're about to talk about the wars that's about to take place. This is futuristic stuff. So to answer the question, you know, what's going on in the world, you know, we grab the word over here at Hermes Academy. And so we're about to look at the third testament of the Bible. Mm -hmm. Chapter 55. Mm -hmm. This is the third section. And we're at 44. Okay. Number 44. You are living in times of anguish in which men purify themselves by enduring great suffering. But those who have analyzed the prophecies already knew that the moment was soon to come. That moment in which wars would break out everywhere as nations began to reject one another. Because look at this right here. He says, 44, he says, you are living in times of anguish in which men purify themselves by enduring great suffering. See, that's why people are suffering now. Right but those who have analyzed the prophecies already knew that the moment was soon to come. See, it's in the scripture. The scripture tells us about it. That moment in which wars would break out everywhere as nations began to reject one another. Go to verse 24. I mean, chapter 24 of the book of Matthew. And it talks about all of this stuff that has to take place. And revelations as well. Now, let's go on to 45. 45. Still to come are the strange illnesses and epidemics which will appear among humanity and will confess, com will confuse the scientists. See, and I'm tempted to pull out the book of Revelations, but you remember in it, it talks about boils? Right. And is it is it more? It talks about these strange bugs that's supposed to, you know, that, you know, has armor and stuff that's supposed to bite, but like a locust thing. Strange illnesses and epidemics which will appear among humanity and confuse the science. Now, yeah, we need to talk about this a little more. This confuse the science, this is going to be the problem because our doctors aren't going to be able to figure it out. They're not going to have a cure. And so it's like you guys have relied on your doctors for your, your um, diseases of Egypt. Talking about these easy diseases like diabetes and cancer and, you know, all of this stuff that, you know, is basically the result of our sin and result of our eating habits, blood pressure and cholesterol and all of this stuff. We wouldn't turn to the Father for, for that, you know, and be obedient to his word. And we rely, we just let the doctors perform sorcery on us, giving us all of these pills and stuff. That's sort, the Bible calls that sorcery where they can give us a pill to get rid of this ailment. And it kind of is when you think about our sin created this disease. Our sin created this ailment that I'm suffering from in my body right now is the result of something, of, it's a result of sin, probably some ongoing chronic sin. If it's a chronic disease, it's probably a chronic sin. But yet I can go down to the doctor and he can give me a pill and poof, it's gone. I ain't got to worry about the symptoms of it and it's like I can deal with it now. I don't have to be obedient. I don't have to get rid of the sin. I can just, you know, take this pill. That's sorcery. Okay, someone is going to ask the question, what about a child who's born into the world that has a disease that has never sinned? Great, great question. We're in the Third Testament of the Bible where we understand there is no such thing as a brand new baby. This is a spirit being here. This is a spirit being that's dwelled on this planet several lives beforehand. He's been here before. What did, what did he or she do in those previous lifetimes? They they, he says that the, in the scripture, in the third testament of the Bible that we're reading from right now, it says that babies are being purified even before they come out of the womb. They're feeling pain. I, I, guess, I guess that's something new. You know, that they're actually feeling pain in the womb now. Let's go on. And when pain reaches its peak in men, they will still have the strength to shout. It is punishment from God. See, this is the blasphemous part. This is what it means by people are going to blaspheme in the end. People are like, oh, yeah, I ain't going to blaspheme. I ain't never going to blaspheme the Lord. But, this, but when you're looking at the earth shaking to the point where it is um, ripping itself apart, and you look at, you know, the strange element that you ain't never heard of. And somebody's point over here and say, look, here it is in Revelation where he said he was going to do to do it to you. You know what I'm saying? People are going to shout, God is doing this, but it's not him. 
It's not him at all. It's us. We done. We didn't did it. We didn't did it. Ain't nothing we get ready to do. You can try to stop now if you want to. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and it'd be in your best interest to do so. But it's going to happen. This is coming. It's here. But I do not punish. It is you who punish yourselves by disregarding the laws which govern your spirit and physical body. See, I was just listening here in chapter 28, 27, 26, something like that, where he said, why should I get mad at you? You're doing it to yourself. Why should? Why would I be angry at you? You're committing sin, and it's causing an ailment or a problem in your life. What I, why am I going to get mad at you for that? I'm told you don't do it because I knew it was going to hurt you. Now, it's doing it, and it's hurting you. Why would I be angry at you? I'm not angry at you. you no, know, I love you. I just want you to stop that, you know, so that you stop hurting yourself. Right. So it's not the Lord that's giving us these illnesses. It's ourselves. It's our sin, our transgressions against his laws that are giving us um, illnesses in our body. Yeah. And we've seen that for ourselves, um, having Ill, uh, having sin and Illness or is is bought up on you, and it's just a result of the things that you've done. The transgressions, policies. Who has unleashed and provoked the forces of nature, if not the foolishness of man? Yeah, we did this. Who has defiled my laws? That and that's how we did it by breaking his laws. He told us what to do and what not to do. He said. Basically, what it boiled down to is this is the planet's laws. It ain't so much as his laws. He just told us about them. We are offending the earth when we do this stuff. When we eat animals that we ain't supposed to eat. When we um, not not do correct hunting practices. Like, for instance, if I don't pray over that, that, you know, that animal that I just, you know, shot or whatever. Or if I leave his blood pile on the ground. That kind of stuff offends the earth. And now I got to pay for it. But it's everything. If you steal from your brother, if you tell a lie, now you have you have put bad stuff into the air, and 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 now guess what? You gotta pay for it. It is the men of science in their arrogance. Yeah. Now see them 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 guys. They 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 the ones took it too far. Because he's talking not only is he talking about the doctors, but he's talking about the people who creating these nuclear bombs. You know, just to kill people. And men, they're cloning folks. They're do, just doing all kind of and, outrageous yeah, stuff. Yeah, science is, is off the chain now. And the thing about it is that they're not, not only are they not, you know, asking the father and, you know, pursuing what he wants them to pursue, but he, they're not giving him any credit. You know what I'm saying? You go down to the university and it's like these nerds think it's their responsibility to act like there is no God. And I want to, see, I just, I, when I was back in the day, you know, I would slap one of them little kids, man. Yeah, yeah. To them, they offending my father's word, you know, in my presence was is, is, is something I don't take lightly. But in college, they act like it is their responsibility, and they're gonna try to prove it to you on a scientific level. And you know, I'm like, no, you can't do it. My my grades are better than yours and everything, so you know, you don't even know what you're talking about. But verily I say to you, this pain will serve to pull out the bad weed which has grown into the heart of humanity. Yeah, this is the purification. We, there are several ways to get purified, and pain is one of them. Pain is like the one you don't like. You can do. You can get purified through charitable deeds. You can get purified through repentance. But see, man ain't interested. He don't, he don't want. He don't want no charitable deeds, and he don't want no no repentance. So guess what? Pain. Pain. Fields will be covered with the dead. The innocent will also perish. Now, when he talking about fields covered, yeah, I'm thinking he talking about soldiers, but I'm not really sure. Even the innocents will perish. But notice that that, that you know people you know thinking, well, I've never done anything you know bad. I'm a, I'm an innocent person, you know, or oh, I'm a child. What about this child? This child that ain't never done nothing in their life. Yeah, they are gonna get blown up too. They gonna get nuked. They gonna get fried. You don't believe it? Go back to the whole, go back to the whole, what is it? Hiroshima, Hiroshima, the Holocaust. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It, um, what is what are those old other cities that he, he mentioned earlier? Greece, mm -hmm. Rome. Uh, yeah, look, didn't babies and stuff die in there? Mm -hmm. Sodom, right? Sodom. Completely. Yeah, they burnt the whole city up. They, you know, the whole the only one who survived was Lot and his little girls. That was it. Mm -hmm. Some will die by fire, others by hunger, and others by war. 
Yeah, those are the things that we're talking about. Fire, you see it goes on in California, but we're talking about something even more intense. Hunger, you see it going on over there in other parts of the world, but we're talking about in your house, in, in your very house. And then by wars, yeah, look. I ain't going to say look and all that stuff that's going on, but yeah, wars, wars. The earth will tremble, the elements will be moved, lava will flow from the mountains, and the seas will become turbulent. Yeah, and see, now notice what happens next. You have this stuff here, fires, you know, they, well, they're created by man or whatever. Hunger, that's definitely created by man, and war is definitely created by man, all of this stuff. But then what happens next is you have earth starts trembling, the elements being moved. I don't know what that, what does that mean when the elements get to move? Hmm. Is that the wind or... I don't know. Waters? I don't know. Uh, yeah, yeah, okay. Some mighty big waters. And then he talks about lava. Flowing from the mountains. Mm -hmm. yeah. See, all of that stuff is going on right now. Mm -hmm. 48. I will allow men to take their perversity to a limit to where their free will allows them in order that, horrified by their own work, they might feel true repentance in their spirit. Now, see, let me start speculating a little bit. I don't like to start speculating, but, you know, I do, and I make sure I announce it. That, yeah, this sounds like we're watching some of this stuff on television. You know what I mean? So you're watching us blow each other up. You're going to CNN, and there's, you know, this country that just got wiped out. You know, I don't want to name which, which one it is because, you know, the Third Testament tells about, you know, some of the countries that, you know, are basically going, going to be touched by this thing more heavily than, than others. But mm, it's, 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 when it says right there, uh, I will allow men to take their perversity to a limit to where their free will allows them in order to horrify by their own work. So horrify by their own work. Some, some people are going to get to watch it on TV. They might feel true repentance in their spirit. Yeah. yeah, and yeah, so you can imagine if, you know, they did a Hiroshima type event now in 2013. We're all going to be watching it on TV. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The tree of scientific knowledge will be greatly shaken by the fury of the elements of nature, and humanity will receive the fruits from that fall. Yeah, see, those volcanoes, you can imagine all of the organic material that's about to be spewed all over the planet. It's going to basically coat, the, coat the, the whole earth in this type of fertilizer. And especially here in, here in America, when you have, you know, the, you know, the caldera or whatever they call it. And so, yes, we're going to benefit, you know, we're going to have, you know, crops again. We're going to have um, good food to eat again. Who other than man will be responsible for causing the elements of nature to become unleashed? That's, that's deep when he said, who else, who else could have did it but us? We are doing this. We are mm -hmm. yeah, we're causing these volcanoes and stuff. Yeah, when you think about, you know, uh, at one time, I don't really watch the news, so I don't know if it's still going on. So how they would talk about, you know, how we was populating, the, not populate, polluting the earth and all this other stuff. So all of the, uh, it's us that's doing it. Yeah. Well. It's us that's doing it. Yeah. It is fine that the earliest beings knew pain for the purpose of awakening them to reality and causing them to be born to the light of the conscious and to obey the law. What does that mean now? Let me read that again. It is fine that the earliest beings knew pain for the purpose of awakening them to reality and causing them to be born to the light of conscience. See, I'm, 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 the earliest beings part, that threw me back to, you know, people maybe Noah, maybe, you know, Adam, but now he says awakening to the light, but that's us. We're just now being awakening. This, you know, this, this change is taking place now or in the future for most folk. Mm -hmm. Most film, it ain't even took place yet. You still watch it so far and whatnot. Yeah. It says, but why does the evolved, conscious, and developed man of this time profane the tree of life? Yeah, see, there's some deep stuff here. The, the, why, why does the evolved, conscious, and developed man of this time profane the tree of life? So why do we still continue to do it? Yeah. That what it's, it I think that's what it's saying. Yeah. Why does the evolve the one says no, the one that knows. Mm -hmm. Still doing. It. Yeah. Why? And I guess so. If you are, if he's, he's spiritually involved, 
he's conscious, meaning, you know, he's aware of what's going on. And he's developed. Yeah. I guess we are. 51. Epidemics will fall upon the world. Strange and rare diseases before which sciences, which science will be impotent and great part of humanity will perish. Yeah. Great. A great we're talking about a lot of people dying. Revelations talk about one third or one fourth of all people on the planet just being dead. Mm -hmm. Just gone. Trees, animals, fishes, everything. Just one third of everything gone. But this book here, you know, it talks of even greater numbers. You know, and and, and I'm not saying it's contradictory. It's just, it's just, oh man, it's 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 just ama It just it just amazes me as what's about to happen to this plant. What's about to happen? We're talking. Well, let's go on. Let's go talk about it here in this chapter. This is chapter 55. Let's go on. We're gonna get there. 52. The universe will be cleansed of its weeds. That reminds me, you know how out in the garden how you don't want weeds. Yeah, because they in just, your yeah, yeah because they take they take over. They kill the 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 plant that you're the they kill the crop that you're growing, and um, they just have to be pulled out. You go out there one day and it's one little flower, one little leaf that look you can't tell if it's a pea or a weed. You come back. You know, later on, and that thing is taller than your pea plant. Mm -hmm. and it's sucking it, the life out of it. It got roots thicker than your <laughs> pea plant. <laughs> mm -hmm. Since my justice will separate out the selfishness, the hatred, and the tireless ambition. Great phenomenon. Well, hold on. He says, my justice shall separate out the selfishness, hatred. See, that's, that's the part that he is responsible for, is the justice part. We're going to make this happen. <laughs> Right. He's going to make sure that the right folk get the right stuff. We cause the nuclear bomb to land on Hiroshima. He made sure that the right people was in Hiroshima when it landed. Mm, okay. He made sure that ain't nobody get affected by that bomb that wasn't supposed to. All them people that died in that, in that, in that Holocaust or whatever, those were people who needed purification and pain purification through pain and they got it they needed purification and it was through pain in which they got it mm -hmm. but the right people got the right stuff that's important his justice part right. great phenomena of nature will appear now see that's what's freaky because it, the third testament and you know all of it talks about these strange stuff that goes on in the world you know strange animals that we that we're not really used to they didn't show it to us on national geographic 53. Nations will be swept away and lands will disappear. Yeah, it talks about two thirds of the whole earth going away. Mm. Two thirds of what you know as earth. Terra firma, we call it earth. We're talking about continents are going underwater. Mm. It says this will serve as a warning bell for your heart. A warning bell. This, that's the wake up call. Those, those events that we're talking about right here thus far, those are just the wake up call right here. Yeah. The stuff we're talking about so far in here, it's, it's yet to happen, but it's going to be stuff that's going to wake humanity up before we get into the serious stuff. Mm -hmm. And so I guess we'll jump on that next time, natural catastrophes and earthquakes. Natural, natural catastrophes, hurricanes, tsunamis, famine. Would that be a natural catastrophe? Famine? Or that a man made? That's man made stuff. Well, what, what, what kind of famine we're looking at is when they knock Walmart down and we don't can't go in and ask what's going to cause the famine. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah. We out? Mm hmm. Hermes Academy. Power, patience, continence, and faith. We teach virtue.